And in today's video, I have the highly requested, updated, what's in my bag. But this time, it's my transparent bag. Um, ever since I featured this in a video and my Instagram, a lot of you guys were curious about how I customize it. So I decided to finally open it up to you guys and kind of explain each pouch as I go. So. Let's get started. Summertime in Korea is unpredictable and no matter what the weather app says, I will always carry around an umbrella because even though it says 20% chance of rain, it's most likely going to rain. So I just like to be safe and this umbrella I got from Madewell and it has stars on it. It's very cutesy and yeah, I really like how it's also like one of those automatic umbrellas so I don't have to like manually open it each time. Great umbrella and I kind of wanted to go to Madewell and pick up more because they're very fashionable as well. Next we have this pouch right here and it is from The Daily Edited and it's customized so it has my initials JK no, it does not stand for JK Rowling or Just Kidding or Jungkook. A lot of you guys leave me comments, but that is not what it stands for. It stands for Jung Kim. But inside my pouch, we have my cushion of the day. I have been loving the Cosrx one because it has a matte finish. And during the hot, humid weather, I just don't want to look wet all the time. So this is probably my go-to cushion for the first couple of weeks so far and as you guys can tell right here I have the Fenty translucent powder because I like to mattify throughout the day so I like to keep this one in reaching distance I just want to be able to take it out of my bag and use it because I like to touch up more often during the summertime than any other seasons so back to my pouch, we have my hair roller. So I still have bangs and I really don't like this weather right now. And especially for my hair, it just looks oily when I washed it like one hour ago. So I like to keep this roller around with me along with a powder dry shampoo. I don't have it with me right now, but you can also use your translucent powder for that. So that's why this powder right here needs to be at reaching distance. So yes, I like to carry around a hair roller and I do this sometimes like when I'm at cafes. I thought I would never be that girl, but when you have things, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Next we have my Starbucks mints. I have TMJ, so because of that, I am not allowed to chew gum. I can't even eat hard foods and it's gotten really bad these days, so I have to go see a doctor now. Um, but yes, that's why I am taking mints. I don't know why I got into that detail, but yes, I love mints from Starbucks because they're very, very strong. Also in this bag, we have my roller ball. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. This is one of my favorite scents and go-to during the summer because I just like how fresh it smells and it's a very chic scent. This shouldn't be a surprise for you guys. And then we have my lipstick of the day. This is the Too Cool For School. I'm wearing it today. This is in number five. I love this entire line. It's my favorite formula. It doesn't crack up and it's very moisturizing. So this is probably my go-to lipstick this year actually. I just love it so much. And finally in my bag, I like to keep bobby pins, hair ties, as well as a Q-tip just in case I wanna touch up around my eye area because um, like if I cry or I don't know, the humid weather might ruin my mascara or eyeliner. So I like to keep the Q-tips and of course my bobby pins and hair ties. So I'm gonna put them all back in here. Next we have this facial mist and this is the Cosrx Low pH PHA Barrier Mist. And take a look at this packaging, it is gorgeous and one of the main reasons why I like to carry this one around is it just looks good in my transparent bag and I actually have a lot of really nice mists so I just like to rotate but for this video I decided to go with the Cosrx one I really like it because it has a very fine mist to it so it doesn't like squirt at your face we don't have sprinklers in Korea but when I was living back in the suburbs in California the sprinklers whenever it was like misty it just kind of feels like that so not all mists has like this pump right here, but I've just been really liking this one and it just doesn't feel 
um, too much, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Okay, here we have my coin purse, and I get a lot of questions about this one, and this is the Rebecca Minkoff Holy Chic coin purse. And yes, I do like to carry around my cash and coins in this one. And because it's like super cute, I do like to leave it out in the open. Um, also, what's not in my bag right now are my two vlogging cameras. The first one is the camera that I'm using to film this video right now. The other one is my Vixia, but I'm charging that one at the moment. And my phone. So my phone is right here actually. So this case is also from the Daily Edited. And no, this is not sponsored. I just really like the Daily Edited because you can customize. And finally, we have this pouch right here. And this actually came with this transparent bag. Um, it also came with another red open pouch. If you watched my favorites video, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I don't really use that one. I just like to use this. You can even use this as like a nighttime clutch because it has like a simple, nice design to it. But in here, I like to carry my card wallet. And I like to hide this in my pouch because I don't want my credit cards to show through my transparent bag so I like to keep it in here I also have my house keys in here and the reason why I keep them in here is because what if it falls out of my bag and that's like I cannot I cannot do that that would scare me and it also shows you like which apartment building I live in so like that's another reason why I keep it in here and the airpods I don't know why it's in here actually I usually leave it like out with my Fenty stuff so this doesn't belong in here so that's everything in my PVC bag and I got this on YesStyle for I think 35 to $40 and I have been using this like pretty much every single day so I am definitely getting my money's worth and yeah, great quality so far it hasn't disappointed me yet and this is also great for the rain because with tote bags, they get wet and damp, but here they just kind of like drip down once the water hits my bag. So I've been liking this during the monsoon season. So that's it for my updated what's in my bag, what's in my PVC bag. Um, a lot of you guys always ask for this, but I feel like not much has changed since the last what's in my bag video. But I thought it would be a good time to talk about my PVC bag, so I wanted to film this for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll make sure to link everything in the description box as always, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!